okay so we left here in the previous video and uh, uh, we have added this uh, uh, load uh, pattern which is pre-stress click ok uh, you have added new load pattern it is added over here click ok and it will take you to the same window okay now select uh, pre-stress tendon from here right now uh, there are different things that uh, you need to understand that you can define here first of all uh, make the units uh, in uh, inches uh, for better understanding because here the tendon area uh, the 5 square inch was given uh, if you remember okay and uh, uh, similarly the other things that you need to know about is uh, the jack uh, is applied from the start the tendon which is used is uh, a416 grade 270 right tendon area you have defined the discretization length is 60 no need to change uh, the load type uh, for example if i select this stress and uh, i specify it as a 216 uh, based on the uh, load that was given to me the pre-stress force you can apply the pre-stress force as well uh, the length if you want to make sure uh, in cape fit is 100 feet of both the spans the tendon start location is span 1 and tendon end location is the second span which is span to end of abutment c so from here tendon will start and here it will ends now what will be the configuration of the tendon so here you can see that the vertical layout and here is the horizontal layout now uh, now the horizontally it will be straight right we don't want it to uh, uh, be uh, horizontally vary in uh, or there should be an offset so we don't want any uh, change in horizontal layout but vertically what options are available see the straight tendon and the uh, different types of tendons uh, profile that you can choose in our case I will select the parabolic tendon okay I will click ok uh, this is the window that need to define the number of points and their location the distance in my case these distances okay i am okay with this distances okay if you are not okay you can change this vertical offset see uh, as per your requirements okay i am clicking done and these are the points one two three four five six seven you can define these seven points uh, in your profile so uh, you, you can check the uh, elevation you can check the plan you can check the section so this is your section right we are discussing this similarly you can check uh, the tabular data as well uh, it's up to you the important thing that you need to know is that tendon modeling opinions or uh, sorry options so i will model the tendon as element not as load okay this was the important point that you needed to know and uh, now i will click okay so tendon 1 is added now uh, i want to repeat the same tendon in all the girders so i will uh, click this option which is copy to all girders and, and as soon as i click it so i have four tendons because there are four girders right and if you want to see the all the tendons in all the girders show all tendons and it will show you all the four tendons for example the tendon 1 in girder 1 girder 2 girder 3 and girder 4 and uh, if you want to uh, check this profile so just look at here these blue dots and i will move the cursor along the length and you will see the change in the vertical offset see it is going downward and uh, the depth of the girder is started increasing and at the bent it is maximum depth and uh, the tendons are back see here uh, we are at the bend and the deck as the maximum depth and the tendons are because of the bending moment uh, i hope that uh, before uh, uh, going for, for a design of a bridge you people should know the analysis and design of reinforced concrete the analysis and design of pre-stressed concrete the behavior of reinforced and pre-stressed concrete you know the traffic engineering you know the earthquake engineering because all these things are required to design a bridge so please don't go for a bridge design uh, if you haven't uh, uh, taken these courses at master's level or a phd level okay 
so uh, i have uh, checked all the four tendons and the girders it's okay so i will click okay i will click okay because i don't want to uh, define other uh, parameters or options i don't need them now so uh, you will guys will notice that till now we are only having we are only seeing this one line right so <clears throat> now there is one option left and uh, that option is uh, when you go to the uh, bridge menu and uh, you select this update linked bridge model so <clears throat> as soon as uh, the window appears you make sure that the object one is uh, highlighted here uh, the action is update linked model and uh, the structural model option in my case i will prefer area object mode in model instead of frame objects and solid object okay and the sub mesh size is uh, four good for me similarly the discretization information uh, for the deck span bend cap and bend columns are 10 10 10 good i will click ok and see what happens so this is what you have gotten now click on the fill object and you will see this thing and click on the extrude object and you will see this extruded view right now if you remember that in the abutment there were different options the spring option and the solid option so uh, this is uh, to show you that you can play with these options right first let me show you that what you can do see this is a 3d view of uh, what you have drawn so far these are your girder see the tendons the parabolic profile going downward and then going upward and then going downward and then upward okay so this is profile of your tendon based on your bending moment now let me show you that instead of these springs how you can bring the what you said uh, the solid beam or abutment okay so here just uh, instead of foundation spring click the continuous beam okay frame section one you can define your own frame section but uh, just for the demonstration purpose okay frame section one is good for me the length is 30 feet okay you can increase it make it 35 feet it's up to you okay i'm just doing this for the demonstration purposes and see it appears here now why it is not linked because there is an offset between uh, the uh, bottom of the girder and the abutment if you uh, doesn't give any offset it will attach uh, to the girder okay and uh, let me show you you won't see the same thing here and uh, this was a point to show you see here it is attached to the bottom but not on the other side so what is the difference let me show you the difference because when you were describing or defining the uh, abutments not not abutments when you were defining the bridge objects so in bridge objects let me take you to the abutments right so you have defined these things for the start abutment and there is an end abutment so if you haven't defined these things for the end abutment see for the start abutment the data is minus 5 and minus 5.167 right and for the end abutment it is minus 6 and minus 8 that's why it is not connected here so it's as soon as you make it minus 5 and minus 5.167 so you will see the difference now okay and it is connected at the bottom see right so i hope you people have learned how to model a simple two span concrete girder pre stressed uh, uh, bridge uh, how to model it how to define different members uh, and uh, in the next video i will analyze the same bridge for the vehicular loading 
सो सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू गाइस एंड स्टे ट्यून्ड